You know, the word says he has set eternity in their hearts. Oh, yeah. There's an endless flow of God's power and glory from within us. We have this treasure in earthen vessels. See, it's there every day. And, 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 and Pastor Chris, he is eternal life. Yes. You activate the power and the glory through consciousness. Whoa. Say that again. You activate the power and the glory through consciousness. That's the reason he tells us to meditate. Because when you meditate, you bring it into your consciousness. And once it's in your consciousness, it becomes the life that you live. Listen, hear this, hear this. That is so true because I've experienced that. Yeah. One more time, run that by us, one more time. <laughs> no, because you said something powerful about renewing your mind. I mean, yeah. a few times tonight I almost said, please say it again, say it again. Renew, one more yes. time. You see, you renew your mind by exchanging your thoughts for his thoughts. And when you do that, you come to the point where you are proving the good, the acceptable, and the perfect will of God. Proving it means that you become the stopper. You see, you're now the one who allows or disallows. Anything that is inconsistent with God's will, you are in charge to allow or disallow. So you're the custodian of your body. And everything that belongs to you belongs to God. He puts you here in charge. See, now the consciousness of it is so important. I said, that's the reason for meditation. That consciousness controls your words. You don't just talk. Words are things, as thoughts are things. See, they have spiritual tangibility. They're powerful. You use them. So like you're going home and you say, I'm going home, you have a consciousness. Now, if you said you were going home and you were not conscious of where you were going, you lose your way. You see, now that consciousness, you bring it into the spirit realm because that's where you are. You're born into the spirit and you live in the spirit. That's why the word of God is so important for you because you live by the word. You're like walking on water. See, your life every day is a supernatural life. You're not trying to make something supernatural. No, you're born into it. This is your nature. You're just now being taught to understand it and walk according to its rules. And you'll be amazed at the life you would live every day, every day.